Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allie Lowndes and I make travel, lifestyle, and motherhood content here on my channel. I would love to have you as part of this little YouTube family. So if you have not done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you tick that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you think that my videos or my channel would be an encouragement or inspire friends and family, please do share it. I would love to welcome them into our little YouTube pod as well. So today is another installment of my home organization tour series where I'm going to be showing you our entryway and our coat closet. Now if you caught my previous closet tour video, you may have noticed that there weren't any shoes or jackets in it. That's because all of those are stored in our coat closet. Today I'm going to share with you our tips, tricks, our organizational hacks for our coat closet and storage, what we keep in there. Of course, anything I mention that I'm able to link for you to purchase will be down below. You can also find those things on my Like to Know It page in the Like to Know It app, which I will also have linked down below. So let's get started. So even though we have a coat closet, which I am so grateful for in our home, we wanted to have a place for guests to hang up bags and jackets as well. With current events, we are not having a lot of guests right now, so it's where we've been actually keeping a lot of the things that we've been wearing every day, just to kind of keep it separate for cleaning. So this is a really cool wall organization system that I purchased at Home Goods. You've probably seen these all over the place. You just mount it and then it comes with the hooks. I also just love that it has this lattice pattern and the mirror, so you can check yourself in the mirror before you go. So we have our keys, our jackets, hats, and our bandanas or masks, and then kind of the tote bag I'm using currently here. So again, if you don't want to nail a ton of separate coat hooks into the wall, having something like this that just has the two screws mounted is really, really helpful. And again, sometimes guests, when they come over, they won't want to put things in your coat closet. They'll just kind of want to hang it up. So even if you have a coat closet, it's great to have this separate space as well for them. And now we have our wonderful coat closet. So on the back of the door, I have one of these over the door hooks. You can find these at the Dollar Tree, which is amazing. These are great. They add additional storage. Um, they're not maybe like the best quality, but they get the job done. So on the back of the door, I have my gym bag. Not sure when that's going to get used again, <laughs> but it's there. And then the hoodies that my husband grabs for frequently or wears on his runs. We hang here as well, again, kind of keeping them separate from the other jackets um, so that we know kind of after a while to wash them. And then we can go inside of the closet. Give you a quick overview of what's inside here. We're blessed with a nice kind of deep and pretty wide closet. So of course in a coat closet, we have the coats. Um, additionally though, we because this space is a little bit deeper, we're able to store other things in it, which is a huge blessing. So one tip I have if you or your partner or maybe a child has a skateboard that they use frequently and you don't wanna either store it in the garage or outside for safekeeping, is to keep it in the coat closet, but it has wheels. So it's hard to figure out how to store it because it would always fall down. So what we ended up installing up on the wall are two coat hooks. So this is a little hack. Of course, it'll take some measuring to figure out which size coat hooks you need. But basically, this becomes a glorified longboard uh, wall mount. So that works out great for us. It keeps this up. It wasn't sliding and falling. And then it's safe so that we don't have to worry about anyone taking it or it getting lost and my husband can easily grab it. And then we also just kind of keep his tennis bag under here as well. And then really quickly before I take you inside, what's great about this is that this is also where we keep our luggage. It was really important to me to keep the luggage inside of the house and because we had the coat closet, it provided great storage for that. Of course, nesting your suitcases inside of each other is another important tip. For us, our garage isn't really weatherproof, so I didn't want to have the luggage out there where it can get dirty, bugs, all of those things, so it's nice to kind of be able to just store them and tuck them away in here where they're easily accessible. 
So right on the inside of the closet is where I keep my hats, my black floppy hat and my straw hat, and I just have a little nail there. So a little cheap and easy trick to get those organized. And then as you can see here, this is where I store my shoes. Now I had literally dreamt and hoped that someday we would be able to store shoes in a coat closet because I like the idea of them being near the front of the house and not being stored in our bedroom closet where all the clean clothes are. So I'm really grateful we can put them in here. These shelves actually were here and already in this closet when we moved in. So really, really great. And then again, for more vertical storage, I put one of those shoe racks we already had in that space. As you can see, they go all the way down from mine to Jeff's and then we just have a small shoe pile on the ground. I cannot recommend enough if you have the room to get one of these hanging clothes organizers for your coat closet or entryway closet. This has come in so handy to store hats, gloves, and scarves. This one is from Ikea. If they have a similar one, I will definitely link it because this thing is so robust. Not only does it have all of these compartments, but it also has some hanging Velcro pieces on the side and some pockets on the side. That's where we put our gloves. So I really love this thing. You can also get the matching bins that go inside if you want some drawer kind of storage. But this is where we keep hats, gloves, and then my scarves, kind of spring, summer, winter scarves. Usually they're folded a little bit neater, but those live in here as well. So they're super easy to access. So I cannot recommend these hanging organizers enough for all of those things that you just need a space for, but don't just kind of want to throw anywhere. Lastly, on the top shelf, we try to keep this as simple and as uncluttered as we can. So starting on this side is where I keep my two travel bags. I have a Samantha Brown dowel bag, and then this is my like favorite tote bag of all time. It's by Adrian, Adrian Vittadini. I love this bag so much. Probably going to do a whole review on it someday. And then this is our workout bin. So again, this is where all the winter gear used to be housed, but it was just hard to dig through and find things. So now we put things like yoga mats, foam rollers, and um, workout bands in there. And then in this bin is where we keep our picnic blankets and beach blankets. So easy to access, but tucked them out of the way. And then of course, this is where we keep our beach bag. This is an LL Bean boat and tote. It's the largest size they make. We got it personalized with our last name. This was a gift from my parents for my birthday last year and I love it. I cannot recommend these bags enough. I will have them linked below. They're huge, they fit everything and they're washable. So we use that not just for the beach but for road trips, day trips, picnics in the park, bringing things over to friends. So cannot recommend those bags enough. Another tip I have for coat closets, especially since you're wearing a lot of these things outside and then coming back into the house and sometimes you're wearing them maybe in inclement weather is to get some damp rid. This stuff is incredible. Basically it has these super absorbent beads. You can see the moisture in there and you can get ones that hang on a coat closet. I like to just set this one up here and basically it just collects the moisture from your jackets and your shoes and just kind of dehumidifies the coat closet which helps have it smelling a lot nicer and just keeps a lot of that damp moisture that can damage things over time out. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tour of our entryway and coat closet. I hope that if you are trying to figure out a way to organize all the coats and shoes and hats and all of that, that you found a tip or trick here that helps you. Again, I will have any products linked below that I that are still available for purchase or something similar in the description box down below and on my like to know it page. So make sure to check out everything down below. Make sure you're subscribed, follow me on Instagram and share this video. It would mean an absolute lot. If you loved it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.